Harry's blues and royals uniform, everything you need to know about his officer and the gentleman attire. Prince Harry proudly displayed his collection of military medals just hours before he delivered a rousing speech to open the Invictus Games in Sydney. The Duke of Sussex attended the Anzac Memorial Service in Hyde Park with wife Meghan ahead of the contest, which he founded in 2014. He wore the tropical dress of the Blues and Royals, dubbed his officer and a gentleman attire, as he paid tribute to Australia's war dead. The golden eagle on Harry's left arm is the eagle of the 105th Regiment of the Line, which was captured at the Battle of Waterloo and symbolizes honor and pride. The pilot's wings resting above his medals are a nod to his time serving in the Army Air Corps flying Apache helicopters, and the large silver badge on his chest is a symbol of the Royal Victorian Order, which represents distinguished personal service to the monarch. The Duke of Sussex displayed three medals on his white uniform. On the left is his Afghanistan Operational Service Medal to mark his service at the front line in Helmand Province. In the middle is the Queen's Golden Jubilee Medal which was awarded to all those in active service on February 6, 2002 who had been in the forces for five years. And on the right is his Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal which was awarded to mark his grandmother's 60th year on the throne in 2012. It was given to all those in the armed forces, emergency services, prison services and members of the, the royal household. Prince Harry also wore a aigualette from his right shoulder. The gold braid aigualette shows that Harry is now one of the Queen's personal aide-de-camps. He also had the Queen's ciphers, ear, on his shoulder boards. While Prince Harry looked dashing in his military attire, Meghan opted for an elegant buttoned black midi dress nipped in at the waist. The pair then swapped their formal attire for casual chic to take a boat across Cindy Harbour to Cockatoo Island for a special Invictus Games car challenge. They took the private vessel from Admiralty House in Kirribilli where they have been staying as a guest of Governor General Sir Peter Cosgrove. The couple then made their way to Sydney Opera House for the opening ceremony of the Invictus Games, where the Duke addressed hundreds of athletes. Prince Harry shared his personal joy of soon becoming a father and hailed the Invictus family as a symbol of strength, honor and optimism.